entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? What is up, folks? This is Joe Alsobrook, and I'm coming to you with a brand new podcast series. Uh, some of you may have already heard my my You're Not There Yet, right? My You're Not There Yet mantra, and uh, that's just the process of understanding that you're not there yet, you're not where you want to be, but also realizing that you're there is going to be just beyond your reach, just beyond your fingertips. And it's always going to get further as you go along because you're going to be progressing along the way. You're not there yet, but good news is you know that You want to get there and you're working hard every day to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable to get there. Now, the subset from You're Not There Yet is my mindset series, right? So I know mindset is not new and I know that that's not something that, you know, any one person came up with or developed. It's something that's been always been and someone just kind of gave it a word mindset, but I've gave it a logo, right? I gave mindset a logo. It's brain, a little brain emoji with the letters S-E-T after it, mindset. It's getting trademarked, so don't try to steal it. Uh, you'll you'll hear from my attorneys. Uh, but this mindset series is going to be crucial to anyone, no matter what level you're at. You can be at the highest level, you can be at the middle level, you can be just starting out, or you can just be, I don't know where I'm at, but I want to know so I can start progressing, right? Your foundation of all of that is mindset. You're, if you can't control your mindset, if you're not continually working on controlling your mindset, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're going to set yourself up for many, many setbacks. You're going to find yourself repeating the same mistakes and struggles over and over and over and not and wondering why this always happens to me, right? Does that sound familiar? Does that sound, you know, anybody out there have, have experienced that? I know I have, right? And that's kind of why I came up with this. So the mindset series, I said it was a foundation, but mindset is over everything. If you don't have the right mindset and if you're not controlling what you can control, then you might as well just understand complacency is your future, right? So today, what I want to do outside of giving you the introduction is I, I want to give you a little tidbit of uh, advice. I want to give you a little tidbit of something that you can apply today, right now, to start making yourself better to help get you in the right mindset. And that is the art of accountability. Okay, accountability along with mindset, very crucial to being successful. And that's one of the applications I'm going to give you today in this little podcast is uh, the art of accountability and, and what it means to you and what it's going to mean to your success. Okay, I call it the art of accountability for a reason because it truly is an art. And just like art, it's something that you have to develop, it's something that you have to create. You can take someone's system and method of accountability and apply it to your life, but until you kind of mold that and manipulate that around your specific needs, just like if you're molding or manipulating clay for a for a sculpture, or you know you're manipulating the paint on a canvas, I want you to really picture this. It's the art of accountability. If someone handed you you know a, a paintbrush, some colors, and a canvas, and said, "Do me a favor." And I want to see you paint accountability. Well, that that's an abstract. How in the world would I paint that? What would it look like? All right? Well, it's something you have to create. I want you to think about accountability like that. You've got the paintbrush, you've got the canvas, and you're going to create your version of accountability. And I'm going to help give you some skeletons and bases in order to get there. So think about this as like a, one of those painting classes, right? The little paint and wine classes where you go with your friends and, and you know, you all have, you know, go to this class and they teach you how to, you know, they tell you, hey, we're going to paint a sunset or we're going to paint, you know, some kind of beach scenery or whatever. And that's what I want you to picture right now. We're all in the same classroom. We're all got our canvases. We all got our colors and we're all going to paint the same thing, accountability. But just like in that class, everyone's version is going to look a little different right? Everyone's version is going to be through their perception. So that's the same thing with accountability. Nobody can give you accountability, right? They, you're, you're never going to be held more accountable by someone else than you will to yourself. So before you reach out for help, before you reach out to a mentor and a coach, understand that first. And then their mentoring, their coaching, and their helping along the way will make a lot more sense. It'll give you a lot more efficient. It'll give you a little bit of a leg up, right? So, What does all that mean, Joe? 
I have my paintbrush. I've got my canvas. Accountability. Accountability. You can't hold yourself accountable to what you're going to do in the year. Now, I know in January 1st, 2018, everybody who's listening to this podcast set goals. I know they did. For beyond a shadow of a doubt. And if you didn't, then, well, do me a favor. Hit stop. Go set some goals. Come back. And then pick it back up from there. Right? But everybody set their goals for the year. What am I going to do this year? What are my goals? right? Well, if you make goals for 365 days, you understand that you can't accomplish those without doing the little things first, right? So what are my goals for the quarter, right? First quarter, what are my goals for the quarter? If you're in sales, you're in marketing, you're in you know a company, a business, typically it's ran by the quarter. What are my goals for the quarter? Well, again, let's look at that. I can't hold myself accountable to what I'm going to do over an entire quarter, right? I have to chop that down smaller. What are my goals for the month? What are my goals for the week? What are my goals for today? Right? And those all have to be in alignment. So you, the reason we set the big goals first, we reverse engineer those goals back down to what am I going to have to do from a yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, now daily perspective in order to get those done and accomplish those things. Okay, so that's where I want everybody to be at right now. We are going to talk about the day. And then we're going to put those days in consecutive order to a week and then a month and then a quarter and then a year. You have to win the day first. Now, listen, I stole that. All right. Win the day is not something that I developed. It's something that I am going to take and I am going to pass along. But I learned that from Andy Frisella and the MF CEO podcast. I believe it's episode 107. So if you go to iTunes or you go to his website or Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts, Andy Frisella, the MF CEO podcast project and then you search for episode 107 he's going di- to he's going to really dive into win the day i'm going to give you a version of it a very simple version of it and we'll expand on it later in, in later episodes I'm, I'm when i do a video it'll probably make a little bit more sense okay so here we are with our day we got to start the day well let me make my to-do list the number one mistake everyone makes here is they have to make some long complicated to-do list and i'm here to tell you that's great because we got to line out what all we have to do, but you cannot do 20, 30, 40 things that are on a to-do list consistently day in and day out. You can't. If you tell me you can, you're lying to yourself. Again, stop, right? So hit stop on the podcast right now. Go, go back, kind of work on your mindset a little bit. Understand that you're telling yourself the same BS day in and day out. Get that out of your mind and come back and pick it up from this spot right here right? What you have to do is decide what do I need to do personally, professionally, and in any other area that I want to develop to make myself successful to reach these goals. Okay. Whether people, a lot of people understand that fitness is directly related to how successful you are, right? And how motivated you are and how inspired you are and your energy and your health. If you're not healthy, you can't accomplish them. So some people include fitness into this. So you have to break these down into five critical tasks. Joe, what is it? Five tasks. I mean, I got way more things to do every day, every week and every day than five things a day. Well, we're going to start with the five because we're going to get these five critical tasks. These are not to do items. These are critical tasks that you have to do every single day, no matter what. And I don't mean Monday through Friday, right? I don't mean on the days where the sun's shining. I don't mean on the days where you feel like it. I don't mean on the days that it's not raining cats and dogs. I don't mean on the days where, you know, you don't have a blizzard coming through in the winter. I mean, every single day, five critical tasks that you have to accomplish in order to consider that day one. Now I'm going to give you an example. I can't paint your canvas for you, right? But I'm going to give you an example of what these critical tasks would be. For me, I'm working on my fitness, right? I got a belly. I'm always fighting the food. I'm always fighting the carbs and the bad food and the eating like an asshole, right? I'm always fighting that kind of stuff, right? So I've got to work on my fitness. I got to work on my diet. I got to work on my nutrition along with my personal professional goals. And I can't lose sight of those things just because I have professional goals that I want to accomplish, right? So one of them is get up 5.30 every single morning, be out of bed by 5.30 and in the gym. So get up, get dressed, get to the gym, wake up at 530, get my butt straight to the gym. Okay. That's one. And that's again, every single day. Okay. Now 
Two, drink one gallon of water. Now, until I can do that every single day, I'm leaving that on my list. And I'll explain the critical and the, and, and the reason why that is here in a second, right? Number three, okay, I have to contact, make contact with five warm leads or partnerships. Make contact. That doesn't mean call them and if they don't answer, leave a voicemail or send a text message or send an email and get no response. That's actually make contact with five warm partners that I'm trying to do business with and I'm trying to develop business with, right? Five warm leads, five more partners. Again, this is my goal. So this is just giving you an example of what I want to, what I'm trying to do here. Four, number four here, right? This is the five points of five. So I want to make um, I want to communicate with a minimum of five different people on five different platforms, right? Whether it's email, text message, phone call, right? So it's five times five. That's going to end up being 25 points of contact. Now that's prospected contacts. That's aren't my warm leads. These aren't people that I've already had conversations with, right? These are prospected contacts. Five times 25. I'm trying to do that every single day, including the weekends, guys. Listen, Guys and girls, listen, that includes the weekends, but that's my goal, right? And then number five, um, you know, don't eat like an a-hole, right? Diet nutrition. Make sure that I stick to my meal plan, stick to my diet plan. Now, if I do all five of those things, then I know I can consider today one. Now, I'm also going to have a to-do list. I'm going to have a to-do list with items on that to-do list that I have to check off throughout the day. You know, I've got, you know, accounts that I have to help. I've got, you know, people I've got to mentor, my coaching, my business, my consultant. I've got all of those tasks. Those are my tasks that I have to do, but those aren't necessarily critical tasks, right? Some of those I can forward to tomorrow. Some of those I have to work through other people to get done and, and things of that nature, right? So I'll make that list separately or at the bottom of this list, but I do those five critical tasks. I put those out on the top of every single one of my to-do lists, right? And I write it out. I've got a little book here um, and it's called The Power List. I'm gonna put a link to that so you guys can get it. Again, it's from Andy Frisella. I think it's genius. I think it's broken down you know, amazingly and, and it helps put all this together. But uh, that's what you need to work on from, from a, an accountability standpoint. It's winning the day. All right. So if I always have those to do lists and, I, and I'm insurmountable tasks and I, and I don't get them done, I feel like I lost. Right. But if I can do all five of those things, I can write a W on my day and I put that paper on a stack. Right. And then if I didn't do all five of those things, my accountability is I have to understand that I lost today. And I, not, not just, I did, I did three of them, so can, all five of them. If I didn't do all five of them, that's a loss. And I have to write a big L on the page and I put that in a separate pile, right? And then what this is gonna do, day in and day out, you're gonna start understanding and seeing where you're winning and where you're losing. And these are gonna be in alignment with your goals and what you're trying to you know, accomplish from a personal, professional, and, you know, and, and level and you know, things that you're trying to develop, a company, a podcast, a brand, right? You have to win the day first. And if you don't understand where you're winning and where you're losing, you're never going to be in alignment of what you need to do to be totally successful. So now I've got my list. I've got my power list. I've got my to-do list. That's my accountability. And I'm holding myself to that. Now I have an accountability partner that I reach out to and we let each other know where you're at for the day. If you checked them all off, if you missed some, did you lose some, right? That's another thing that I do. And we'll get into that again on future episodes here. I'm trying to lay down the base and the foundation for you right now. Right, that's the accountability message. The method is win the day. If I can't win today, it doesn't matter what happens tomorrow or next week or whatever because I'm not even in control of the smallest, most basic things, and that's day in and day out. All right, so I've got my power list. I've got my five critical tasks. I've made my to-do list. Now, I'm. What is your routine? Are you doing that power list in the morning every morning? Are you doing it, you know, on the weekends and you're doing it out for the week? Here's what I suggest. This is something that I do. You're painting your canvas. This is completely up to you. This is just something that I do on here, right? I do my power list at night before I go to bed. Not, right? not at five o'clock, not at six o'clock, not at seven o'clock, but I do it at night before I go to bed. That way I go to sleep with a plan and I wake up with a mission. 
I want to go to sleep with a plan knowing these are the things that I have to get done. Plus, it kind of helps me de unload my brain, right? If I put them down, I put them on a list. I'm not sitting there swirling around thinking about it all the time, right? I know that it's on my list. I'm going to get it done. I can now close this book and put it in tomorrow when I wake up, 5.30, up out of bed. I'm heading, I'm, I'm starting with my critical tasks and I'm getting those critical tasks done throughout the day. Okay, so I do it at night so I can go to bed with a plan and wake up with a mission. And then when I try to do that day in and day out, you have to start with the day first. You can't tackle a week. You can't tackle a month. And if everyone's ever heard this, I love it. I've got a cornball worksheet. It is corny as all get out, but I love metaphors. I love visual references, and this helps. But it's a worksheet, and it's got a picture of an elephant on it an outlined picture of an elephant, and it's called How to Eat Your Elephant, okay? That's exactly how I attack things. That's what I try to put out there, but I love that metaphor. It's how do you eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. So inside that elephant, we write down all the tasks for that project, right? All the things we have to do for that project. And then we make little circles around all of them, right? Until the elephant's all circled up and inside. And, and then we start coloring those things in as we accomplish those tasks and details for that project. And we visibly see that elephant slowly getting colored in all together, right? And it kind of helps you visualize that the progress is actually happening and understand that this is a day in and day out thing. And we have to win the day first, one bite at a time before we're going to be successful. Successful. Okay, so accountability canvas, our paintbrush, we've started with our win the day. We've started with trying to win the day first. That's today's lesson is accountability win the day. I'm going to have another one on this. We're going to talk about a little bit more advancement on the accountability. We're going to talk about having an accountability partner, someone that you can actually reach out to and you guys can hold yourselves accountable together, right? Because that does help. If you know, there's an African proverb, it says, if you want to go, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And you're ever only ever going to be as strong as your team. So you have to start with your personal and professional development first. Listen, guys, that's gold. That's gold. I'm going to call it what it is. Everything in this content here is complete, pure gold. If any of this hit you in a certain way and you feel that this is going to be what you need to do to really propel you to the next thing, the next big thing, uh, great. And, you know, share this with your team. I've had people, you know, using my content lately for trainings for their teams. By all means, I think that's a great idea. And, and I'll go a step further. If you would like me to personally come in and help train your team, talk to your team, you know, help you with a strategy around your team, help you personally from a personal coaching standpoint, to help your business from a business consulting standpoint, let me know. That's what I do every day. That's my career. That's what I want to do. That's my passion. I don't know if you can hear that coming out in my voice right now, but that's what I really, truly love is helping people be as successful as they can possibly be, be the best versions of themselves and their business and their company, All right? guys, that's my time. I got a meeting that I'm about to go into right now. Again, I just wanted to put this phase one here, win the day, right, on this podcast. I'm going to have another one in a couple of days. It's going to be the phase two, I'm talking about the accountability partner. We're going to touch base on your win the day list, your power list, if you've even applied that, because this all might sound good and fine, but it doesn't mean anything without action behind it. Apply these steps. Be the best you can possibly be. Win today. It's Friday. Guys, it's follow-up Friday. If you're in sales, follow up on all those leads and partnerships that you've started, that you've talked to throughout the week. If, if you don't have a follow-up list, oh my God, you're behind, right? If you're not in sales, understand that sales isn't everything that you do, so you probably are in sales and you don't know it yet. But if you're not in sales, you know, your goals, your missions, your work, the, Friday's not the finish line. Friday's only part of it, right? Friday's just another day that we want to make sure that we're putting the best efforts we can put forth to make everything happen. Guys, I know I'm, I'm rambling. My caffeine's kicked in. It's time for me to go. Talk to you later. Make it a great day. Go execute.